Good morning from Poulong Santo. About uh, 4.30 this morning, my phone was going off the hook with a warning for orange rain. I had never heard of orange rain. I looked it up. That's when it's 7 to 14 inches of rain per hour. It also got pretty windy. You can see the bamboo up there leaning on the power lines. It looks a little dangerous. When these things pop and they snap, um, it could hurt you. Here's some more blown over bamboo. Fell on my neighbor's house. There's a lot of st kind of storm damage. I haven't really seen that much before. Oh, here's some chickens hanging out. There's a lot of free-range chickens around here. More anyway, I'm headed down to the market and I'll stop at the gym on the way. People are just so friendly here. That's the uh, FedEx. That's how it's done here. Most deliveries are done on a motorbike. Actually, it's probably LBC or one of those. Hello, street dog. So many street dogs here. They always look they're on a mission, though. Most dogs in America, they just look laid back. These dogs are always looking like they're on a mission, like there's just something they're after. Constantly. I'm here waiting on a Jeep to take us into the market and the gym on the way. Big trucks here, big trucks. Some of these trucks are huge compared to the ones in the U.S. Today is my day at the gym. I wasn't actually planning to vlog the gym. I usually never vlog myself either. But uh, I decided I would do that a little bit today. Uh, I don't put myself out there too much. I figure what's most interesting and important is like the things that I'm doing, not me in particular. So I decided I would uh, put a face to my YouTube channel today and show you some guys that I'm working with at the gym and kind of what it's like here. The, to work out here is like uh, $14 a month or uh, 80 cents a day. So it's a pretty good deal. Yours truly. It's not air conditioned here, so I'll frequently walk out and cool off on the balcony between reps. There's no stop signs or stoplights here in Porak, and this is kind of how the traffic works. You just kind of go and do it, and when traffic's heavy, it's kind of like getting out of a concert or a sporting event. The NBA is huge here in the Philippines. The coach here is pretty good. He's uh, $1,200 a month. That's like $24. His coaching includes diet, supplements, etc. My trainer in uh, San Diego had 11 titles, so I know a good trainer when I see one. See you later. Take right. care. Take it easy, though. Take it easy, now. You guys have a good day. Thank you. This is the rainy season here, but typically, for the most part, it's sunny in the day and it's rainy at night. It's been raining off and on, but not like the orange rain, the 7 to 14 inches per hour. But by the end of this video, we will be seeing the orange rain. This is my favorite chicken place in Porak. You can see everything's kept pretty clean. I worked in restaurants a lot when I was younger, so I know what to look for. This is a clean place. What's your name, my friend? Pista. Yeah. Whenever I get chicken in uh, Porak, it's always here. Hello. This is my friend, but she's afraid of men with beards, so... <laughs> what I got you. <laughs> this is my other friend. She's okay with beards. She always gives me the peace sign when I walk by. And this girl, she always stays in the back, but she's the one with all the dope. So when I come here, she's the one that has all the money, makes all the change, sees that I get the proper drugs. Brand call? Hi. From Pulang Santo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you're seeing here is just really a very typical day for me. Just a typical day in the province. Good morning. How are you? Now I never met that guy, but it's it's not unusual. People are just friendly here. This is my favorite bakery. You can get a pizza here for about 150 pesos or three dollars. 
where the parking starts and ends and where the sidewalk starts in it, it's not really clear. Some people have their canopies and their covers right out over the sidewalk. To the, or what I think is a sidewalk, or should be the sidewalk, but hey, I guess if I don't like it, I can always go home. Hello. Hello. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome to Philippines. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. How are you guys today? How are you doing? Good. How's the background? Good, I'll show you. I did some uh, videos. You are friends? Yeah. I just got back. I did videos. I put up uh, two. I'm doing another one when I get home. I'll show you when you get back. My friend, how are you? I'm fine. Hey. He's the boss. Oh, boss? Oh, no, no, I'm boss. Not boss. No boss me. But boss. He's the boss. <laughs> This is my friend's jeep, the technical jeepney. You kind of stand by the side of the road and put your hand out a little bit like hitchhiking and they pull over and pick you up. And you get in the back and it costs about uh, 12 pesos or 25 cents to ride. I noticed my friend's papers were getting wet there, so I decided to go get something for him to put his papers in to keep them dry here in the storm and the rain. Not sure who will have anything to fit the bill or where to go exactly, so just kind of going in search of. <laughs> she had asked me to buy some peanut brittle you know from what? Baguio, bring it back. I bought it, but I can't find it. You can find it? Yeah, I bought it. I paid for it. There's a lot in the hallway. Highway. In Baguio, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going again. I will bring it to you. How are you? How are wow! You? Oh, blind! <laughs> Hello. This was the fresh meat section. You know, this is the chicken, pork. Everything is uh, fresh, actually. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. What is that? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Part. I know it's part. What part? Shoulder? Leg? Shoulder. Shoulder. Oh. Liver? more fresh vegetables and then uh, towards the back on the right they have uh, fish I'm gonna stop at this little store to see if they got some new shirts in I haven't really bought that many new shirts since I've been to the Philippines and it's actually not that easy to find in my size good morning Hi, my friend. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I got back. Time no see. I was in Baguio. Ah, really? That's why I bought this. Yeah. Odd. I'm doing a vlog today on on Porak, so I thought I would come and see you. <laughs> my backpack was five dollars. It's exactly like that blue one. I bought this exact shirt. It's two dollars and forty cents. Brand new. I'm on a mission to find a waterproof binder for the paperwork for the jeepney driver because his papers were getting all wet and blown around. Out here in the province, uh, selection can be kind of limited, so we'll see what we can find. You know, they say that money can't buy happiness, and I disagree. Uh, I'm not rich, but sometimes out here in the province, I could do little things that uh, really help people out. Sometimes I get the opportunity to help people with stuff. They're not asking. Uh, but it just occurs to me that some little thing would be helpful. What's really cool is to be able to help people without having to take out a second mortgage on the house. The market here is pretty much stocked up with everything you, you need. Uh, some of the American products are not for sale here, but most everything you need. Whatever they don't have here, I can usually get one of the SM malls, like cheese and U-Band coffee, that kind of thing. 
One thing you'll notice when you come here is that the music's usually played a little bit louder than it is in the state. Kind of surprised me when I first saw milk here. It's not in the refrigerator. It's actually, it's like canned. And uh, once it's pasteurized, it's sealed and it shouldn't go bad. Got a few groceries, but they didn't have what we needed for the GP driver, so the search continued. Got some cool toys for kids. This is lovely Maricel. <laughs> out of stock, sir. We're out of stock, sir. Maybe next week. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Ah, hello. <laughs> we were looking and looking, didn't find what I was looking for, but I think we found something temporary that'll work. While we were in the store, the rain started kicking up again. Hello. What's your What's morning. your name? I'm James. If you see <laughs> my uh, Robert Tracer. Hello. Oh, <laughs> You hear a lot about Filipinos being shy, and it really is true. It's another charming trait of many Filipinos. I wouldn't say all Filipinos are shy. You'll find some hot dogs and things like that, but pretty much everything else is fresh here. You don't really find many processed foods here, except for like a cup of noodles, that type of thing. I pretty much cook all my own food, fresh vegetables, etc., chicken, or pork. I can eat pretty well on six to eight dollars a day. But if you go to McDonald's and get a quarter pounder, it's going to cost you almost five bucks. There's no doubt that I'm a lot healthier since I got here, just from the nature of the food. How are you? Fine. Yeah. This is where I get all my fruit. I get all my fruit here. Edwin's very good about telling me what's good today, what's not good today. How much avocados? Are they ripe? I go down to the market almost every day for one reason or another, if nothing else, just to get out of the house. 50 pesos is a good price, and I never buy them unless they're ready to eat that day. It started raining heavy again. One more, one more coffee? Okay. Say hello. It's mine. Hello, my friend. Hello. It's for you. Boss. Yeah, for you. For you. Thank you. Now here is the orange rain. Not sure if you can see it, but if you look up against the building there, a lot of people are just hunkering down underneath the eaves, waiting for the intense rain to calm down. And it's so loud is because of the metal roof. The volume is actually exactly the same as it has been for the entire video. I didn't get to record anything on the way home because uh, my battery ran out. I wasn't planning on doing a long video, so I didn't bring uh, the backup batteries with me.